Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video allow me to make an update about our birds. But in the past few days, I lost my three ticks of the coca tails. As I investigated, it was eaten up by the rats and these rats are now bothering us. That's why I said that we have to do something in order to preserve the lives of our animals here. And you know that rats can be deadly, especially if they are hungry. And I tried feeding them outside but they love to eat the meat of our birds. So this is the lesson that I can share with you that if you are planning to make a cage for your birds be sure that the rats could not come in i was so complacent about this i know that the cockatiels can you know fight with the rats but the rats are eating the chicks we will make an update about what we have done for this in order to preserve the lives of our cockatiels So I have decided to use this mouse trap and I requested my staff to put this in the container of their feeds. I hope that we're gonna be able to catch even one or two of these rats. And I believe that if one of them will be caught, this will now become the signal that they are no longer safe in this place so they will not anymore come back. I hope so, if uh, my interpretation would be correct. You see that one of the rats had been caught and it was glued to this mousetrap. This rat cannot anymore stand up and cannot anymore escape. I really tried many times to drive them away. I even caught some cats to, you know, uh, watch over these birds, but the cats are also eating our birds. So I decided to just make some human interventions. And this mousetrap is one of the effective tool that we can use in order to avert the presence of the rats here. So you will see that this rat is actually not able to stand up and uh, eventually these rats will die. This may be the beginning now of our success to eradicate the presence of this pest in our vicinity. And I'm so positive that we can continue on with the production of our birds because I really had that regrets over the the loss of our three chicks that are about to fly already but they were eaten up they disappeared i can conclude that the rats really are the ones responsible for eating because i, I saw blood stains on the nest boxes so we will get inside here and we will feed our cockatiels with the leaves of this palm tree they are actually eagerly waiting for this and let me remind you that these palm trees are also giving us good results in our breeding because as I can see they are breeding a lot when they're gonna be 
fed with the leaves of these palm trees. There are many greens that we can give to our cockatiels. Actually, we give alternately the leaves of the span trees. This moringa. And this water spinach. And this had been a proven thing that if we're gonna give these greens to our birds, to the African lovebirds, to the cockatiels, and even to our parakeets, this will give us good result. The breeding is just so well, only that we are disturbed by the presence of these rats. And in fact, as I can see right here, there are so many eggs, and in this box, we have also so many chicks. We have three chicks that we can see very clearly from here. And then, this mama here is incubating also four eggs. And this is actually attributed by the kind of attention that we give to our birds. During the day, we feed them with sufficient food. It's their behavior that from time to time, they're gonna eat the food, they will fly, and then they will mate, and then they will eat again, they will take a bath. That's why I really instructed my staff to clean the surroundings every day. So we are cleaning it twice a day. And we are actually putting some water in order to drive away the mites and even the possible viruses that might be the cause for the disease of our birds. So far, the breeding of these cockatiels had been so well now because we were able to double its population. We only started with four pairs, eight heads of these cockatiels, and now they're already 16. So they can multiply very rapidly. Were it not for the presence of these rats, where I lost three chicks to this pest, we would have more babies by now. Maybe it can reach around 20. These things are actually lessons for us to learn that these rats, if we will notice one or two rats, we will not take that for granted because these rats can also rapidly multiply. So this is now the beginning. We will use this mousetrap and we will put this everywhere, their passage, so that we can avert their presence and we can control them in a way that it will not harm our pets right here. This is my routine every morning. I love to feed our catfish. I love to feed our birds. And this catfish industry is really now booming because they can produce so easily and they can grow rapidly. So this is it. Okay, you eat. Cleanliness is one of the key factors for the successful breeding of our birds. We cannot just allow them to live in a dirty environment. That's why we clean the surroundings twice a day. If we are doing this regularly, they will be used to it. They will not anymore be panicked or even afraid of our presence. And from time to time, we also gonna check what's happening inside the nest boxes. That's why it's good that our nest boxes should have this opening for us to be able to you know, monitor them and get the dead chicks so that it will not affect the others. If uh, these eggs are already spoiled eggs, we have to get it out from the nest boxes so that this will not become the magnet for the ant. And these ants also are actually one of the causes of our failures in breeding. If they will attack inside the nest boxes because maybe of dead chicks, then that would be a great disaster because the mamas or the parents will no longer be able to get inside because of the presence of these ants. 
When you have aviary outside your house, it will also become the attraction of other birds. We have these uh, small birds that we call Maya here in our vicinity. And they are plucking in and also eating some of the foods that we are giving to our parakeets. And it's very nice to see that these lovely creatures are, you know, very tame and thriving in this place. In fact, Bruce and Barbara are still visiting us and they are eating the fruits of this Indian almond tree. So I will give now this water spinach. <laughs> Look at them. They're already waiting for this. And for the parakeets, I would like to tell you that we can give the water spinach on a daily basis. As long as we're gonna air dry this for three to four hours, because the sap of this is actually causing diarrhea to the parakeets. But if we are going to air dry this, we can give them with this vegetable on a daily basis. So we will give now. I'm so glad that almost all of these clay pots have babies or eggs and actually in bird farming attention and care is one of the key to become very successful in terms of production of our birds these birds can really produce and act on their natural behaviors if we're gonna give them the best environment and also we can provide them with the best food that they needed in order to multiply and uh, you can see right here that there are many chicks actually there are young chicks that i can show you i'm so happy to tell you that we have now more than two dozens of chicks you see this one there are two babies right here and they are very healthy I love the color mutations that's happening here inside in this breeding cage. And we started only with plain colors like the green ones, but they are producing a lot of colors now. And this is my inspiration. And this is also where I get my strength, seeing our parakeets producing lots of beautiful colored babies. So guys, you will see that the birds now are eating this water spinach and this can be good for the day. Small amount of this will really make a difference in our breeding. And I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now. And shout out to the members of this channel. See you in my next video only here at Dexter's World!